Betty, it's Bunny. Benny, whatever that name may be. And Bernie. Ha! Trying it again. Wait, one step too high. Okay. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be doing a shoe unboxing video for you guys. I think this is my first outdoor shoe unboxing video, but Today I just felt like a loner, dotty, a rebel. So I decided to film outside. It's like literally 98 degrees out here today and that is just primal optimum time. Pr premium, primal, primal? That doesn't sound like the word I'm looking for. That's optimum time for me to be out doing stuff because it just makes me feel so good. So yeah, today is officially a shoe unboxing video, but I also told you guys yesterday that I got a new tattoo and I thought I would start off the video just showing you guys, telling you guys a little bit about it because nobody guessed what I got and there's absolutely no way anybody could have guessed what I got because I never have said anything about this. I had originally planned on getting a small cross on one of my fingers, but that thought never really worked out for me. I was gonna get this one that I got today and then a cross at the same time because normally you had to pay like 70 or $80 just as like the shop fee, you know? So I was like, eh, I can probably like get them to do like two fingers for that. Two for the price of one. But I had a real struggly time with the cross because I'm not a fan of the inverted cross at all. So I was like, okay, well, if I get it pointed away from me, away from me, like with the top part like going out that way, it's gonna look inverted to me. And if I get it the other way, it's gonna look inverted to everybody else. I don't know, I just had a problem with it. So I would still really like to get a cross tattoo at some point, but I'm gonna have to like work that out somehow. So this is the tattoo that I got. And it's three hollow rectangles on my finger. And the reasoning behind it, I'm sure some of you are gonna have a good hee-haw laugh at me, or you might say something rude. I don't know. I mean, I don't really feel like there's that many people on the swamp, which is an absolute blessing. So thank you to everyone who just deals with my craziness. So I don't know, if you wanna make fun of me, I'm totally cool with that. You can leave me something crappy down below and I'll read it. And then, uh, I don't know, it'll probably be something I've heard before cause I'm 26, so. There's not too many insults that can be flung at me that I haven't heard already. So I actually got this tattoo. It's identical to a tattoo that Johnny Depp has. And many of you know that I've been a big Johnny Depp fan, you know, ever since I was a kid. And the first time I saw this tattoo, I was probably about like nine or 10. And I just like, was like, oh, like I just, I thought it was the greatest thing that I had ever seen, even though it's so simplistic. So I kind of always knew that this is something in the back of my mind that I wanted. And I've been wanting a finger tattoo for quite some time. So it just seemed like this was an opportune time to get it. But it does have personal relevance and meaning for me. I wasn't just like, oh, I'll just get this tattoo. I mean, that was like the original reason but then it started to kind of like click with me that it had personal relevance in my life my lucky number is three so it's three rectangles little fun fact for you guys so oh text messaging it just happened so the story I've always heard behind why he has this tattoo which is kind of what connects it to me in my life is that he used to, okay, I always have heard that his first job was a pin salesman, like writing pins over the phone, like a telemarketing pin salesman, which just seems so obscure that it must be true. And so quite apparently this is something that he would like habitually draw on his finger when he was selling pins. And so it kind of like just, clicked with me that I would get this tattoo one day when I stopped feeling like utter uh, worthless crap about myself that I had actually like done something with my life. And so, you know, now that I've like graduated from college and stuff like that, it just seemed to like fit. I don't know, just whatever. It's three squares on my finger. So hopefully nobody has that big of a problem with it, but I don't know. I guess I don't care even if somebody does. Just, it's my life and it's my finger. God, I will do with it what I want. That's my little tattoo story, which turned out to be a long tattoo story. Maybe I should do the unboxing in another video. Should I? Is this bad? Bad? I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm sorry this video is too long for you. 
Some of you guys may have already seen this box of shoes. If you A, follow me on Instagram, because I did technically get them before I got out of town. I'm so excited because I made it to the popular page on Instagram with these shoes. It was an exciting moment for me because my bucket list contains stupid things like getting three rectangles tattooed onto my finger and becoming on the popular Instagram popular page. Just my goals in life are very strange. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these. And if you watched one of my outfit of the days that I filmed in Savannah, Georgia, then you probably saw a tiny little clip of these. But I wanted to wait and show you guys them in HD. So here we go now with them again. They are the Jeffrey Campbell Spiked Damsels. And so this is what the shoe box, oh my God, I just got lipstick on my shoe box. That's what the shoe box looks like, just in case anyone gives a hoot. Don't pollute, give a hoot. This is probably the easiest shoe purchase that I've ever made online in my life. This was my very first time shopping at Soul Struck. So here they are. I've always wanted a pair of the damsel style Jeffrey Campbells. I was originally going to get the floral damsels, but by the time I saw them, they were sold out. And I think that they have a new floral print out now, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get them. So this is what they look like. They came packaged to me excellently. They were wrapped with styrofoam around the studs, which I always repack them after every wear like this because I'm really crazy. I really, really take good care of my, you know, pricier shoes. They also came in the little dust sleeve jackets. I mean, just so neatly packed in a very nice box. Soulstruck is probably like the neatest a pair of shoes has ever come to me. Just like no jostling, everything was perfectly packed. Does anyone care about that? I don't know. I did order these in a size seven and a half. They run true to size. They fit me perfectly. Anytime I unbox a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's, everyone's always like, why you no compare to Lita's? They are pretty comparable to Lita's. If you walk really well in Lita's, if you, oh my God, my styrofoam is blowing away in the wind, excuse me. If you're really good at walking in Lita's, you should have no problem with these. Now I am a little bit clumsier in wedges than I am in like a separated or platform heel. I don't really understand why that is. So this took me a little bit of practice to get used to, but I'm going to the Bear in Heaven concert tomorrow and I'm gonna wear these shoes to a concert. So when I do that outfit of the day or vlog or whatever it's gonna be, I will be sure and give you guys an update on long wear because the longest I've ever worn these so far is about 45 minutes. They are very, very comfortable. If you already own other pairs of Jeffrey Campbell shoes, then you probably know that for some reason, even though they are platforms because about this much of this shoe is the platform, this, unlike other platforms that start to give me like a burning, painful sensation in the bottom of my feet, I really don't ever get that when wearing a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's. These do have eyelet laces, unlike my cosmic Lita's which is so far the only pair of Lita's that I own and I know a lot of people go like crazy over eyelets but I guess I just don't really pay attention to stuff like that that much so they do have eyelets for the lacing and also like I don't really know what these are called but I always call them like ice skater brackets just what is that we just make up our own vocabulary here on the swamp so that's what they remind me of though is like you know for ice skate skates. I do unlace them every time I put them on, but they do have a zipper on the side. The only thing that I do recommend when you wear them so that the ankle part up here is not uncomfortable is when you put them on that you kind of flex your foot forward. And I'm about to put these on so I can do a little walk for you guys. So I'll show you what I'm talking about, but it's like if you bend your ankle forward, like as if you were lifting up your foot and then tie these ice skating brackets up top, they're a lot more comfortable because the first time I laced them and I didn't do that, it was literally like so tight on my ankle it was really uncomfortable but after I just flexed my foot forward and then laced and put them on I had no problems wearing them at all they're super super comfortable to me so yeah I'm super pleased with these uh, definitely not gonna be sending them back at first I kind of ordered them on a whim and I was like okay if they're not that easy to walk in I may send them back because I'm trying to kind of be more conscientious with the crazy shoes that I buy because I do own a pair of Jeffrey Campbell night walks and I've still yet to wear them outside of the house because they're just not very stable to walk in and uh, in Texas like we just had like the worst drought of 40 years or 50 years last year so all the sidewalks and everything are kind of like leaning forward and just 
you know, cracked and everything. So it's really kind of dangerous. I'm not comfortable with wearing those out in public at all, but I didn't send them back. So it's kind of like I have a $170 pair of shoes that I can't wear. So I'm trying to be more conscientious with, even if I like a shoe, I think it's really cool. If it's expensive and I can't wear it, I'm kind of just gonna send it back, which is what I had to do with the, what were those shoes called? Jeffrey Campbell Dominiques. I did send those back because I just couldn't wear them. They weren't comfortable at all. These, however, I am gonna be keeping because I love them and I think that they're just a great staple for my wardrobe. They have a lot of that street fashion, uh, kind of new goth feel, which is really, you know, one of my favorite style tribes. I think it'll suit a lot of outfits really well. They are a little bit pricey, as with most Jeffrey Campbell shoes. These were $245, I believe. They still do have them available on Soul Struck, and they have other colors. They have black and white, I know for sure, and I think a top or a kind of, you know, like a a light brown color and one other color that I can't think of. Maybe it's like red or something. Just for your convenience, I will be linking where you can buy these shoes down below. I'm not affiliated with Soulstruck, unfortunately. And there goes my styrofoam for sure this time. It's actually blowing now into the street. It just got hit by a truck. Surcease of sorrow. So I'm just gonna do the walk right now and I always jump in my shoes. People always ask me why I jump in my shoes when I do a shoe unboxing video or a shoe collection video. I just started doing it one day and it kind of stuck. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. Hopefully it doesn't drive anyone that crazy. So I'm gonna put them on now and yeah. So this is what I mean by like bending your ankle forward when you're lacing is to just go like this see so that's kind of like giving me some extra room here so that when I'm just like standing up straight it won't be like super tight around my ankles Ta-da! and now when I stand up straight see there's like extra room when I'm walking around So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think about the shoe. Let me know if you own them and if you agree with my opinions or maybe you don't agree with my opinions. Maybe you think this is the most difficult shoe to walk in ever. It's okay to disagree. I will see you guys in my next video. My next two videos are probably gonna be vlogs from my vacation just cause I feel like I've talked about them so much that I have to actually post them at this point. So yeah, please take a minute to subscribe. Stay here with me on the Swamp Party. I promise it's an awesome place to be. I love my Swamp family. You can like me on Facebook if you want, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelt here, and I'm gonna go try and retrieve my dusk jack, my dusk, whatever just blew away, I'm gonna go get it, okay? I will see you guys later, bye!